Hello, I thought I'd just come on to do a very quick jumble sale haul with you. So I went to a jumble sale at school today. Um, it wasn't the best one, but I did come away with a few bits and pieces. I won't tell you until the end how much I spent to give you an opportunity to guess if you would like to. Um, okay, let's start with... I picked up this and immediately I recognised it as a Kath Kitson blanket. Um, sure enough, it is Kath Kitson. Now, the mistake I made was not to actually open it up fully to check the blanket. There is a stain here. I reckon that probably won't wash out. Um, could try bleach, but it might end up bleaching the other side. I will stick it in the wash, see how it goes. Um, but it's just a really nice, one of those soft cotton baby blankets. Um, might sell it might keep it not sure it's just one of those things that I just thought oh it's a catechism blanket I'm going to pick it up and take it with me <laughs> so I might run that through the wash see if that stain comes out and see how we go with that but I got that and then this um candle have a little smell it's really nice I've had this one before it's a uh, warm apple and cinnamon and it's like a um take off of Yankee candles so I got that and that I'm sure there was something else just what else I picked up oh these so I picked these up and these were one price so uh, these were I'll have to tell you the prices these were two pounds now this I'm going to give use as a giveaway um, that I'll do for Easter I think I will promise you that I will do a giveaway and these will be included because I thought they were, they were fun um, <laughs> little pig egg, egg cup holders so that was that I've not told you actually where I work but I actually work in a school and um, we are doing a book day and I'm dressing up as a wolf <laughs> as in the three little pigs and the wolf so I was looking around for inspiration to get some ideas and I found these slippers and tried them on and they fitted because I was like I was just going to wear boots but I was like oh maybe I could wear these slippers um if they get damaged, they were only 50p. And they, to be honest, they're quite good neck. I just realised they're actually necked slippers. So um, <laughs> maybe I'll try and look after these, but I thought, oh, they could be my wolf feet. So I was quite excited to pick up something there. Then I ventured onto the toys, again, because I work in a school. I was trying to find bits and bobs for school. Um, picked this up for my son. It is a cheapy Rubik's Cube, but sometimes he likes to modify them and change them up. Um, and he can scribble on them or do whatever add it to his collection so I got that and then I picked up these things so these can bend I'm not, I've not seen one like this before but this one you can actually bend into a ball shape believe it or not um, so I'm going to take it um, into my place of work for just like a fiddle toy for the children and then they had this version too um, which I thought was quite fun but my son wants to keep hold of this one so that's that and then also I found this um, cool ice cream squishy. Looks like a real ice cream. Um, it's actually a key ring. How long it will last as a key ring, I do not know. But I thought that was quite fun to have that. Um, then I spotted some of these Poppet toys. These have actually got the alphabet on them. So if you wanted to do something with alphabet, you can. They're very faint with the alphabet, but... Um, I thought that was fun. So I got that, that, that and that. This little Minecraft toy, because quite a few of the kids like Minecraft. So I'll just pick that little creeper up. And I found this. Now, if you are into children's books and you know Julia Donaldson, you'll know that this is Stickman. Um, really lovely, lovely story um, about a stick. <laughs> um, so there's Stickman. So I thought I'd take him to school as well to go with our our stories um so there you have it i got i got all this lot here for two pounds so um i'm sure i spent oh yes 50p on the slippers so altogether i spent four pound fifty which i think was quite a bargain for what i managed to get so i just thought i'd share that with you because i know some some of you are interested in the jumble sale hauls and it means now that i can get rid of it off my desk <laughs> all right thanks for watching take care and i'll catch you um, probably on a budgeting video next or cash stuffing take care bye <coughs>